Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. If you guys remember yesterday, uh, I said I was gonna throw together a uh, Google Sheets document with a kind of schedule of what we gotta get done. So I have gotten that done. So for spring day four, because uh, that is currently where we are, so I'm not gonna talk about days one, two, and three. Uh, spring day four, spray fields 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 are wheat fields, which is currently, which is done. Plant the soybeans fields, uh, 50, 51, 52, and 56. 50, 51, and 52 are done. And then also plant sunflower fields, 49, 55, and 57. Uh, spring day 5, not going to be doing anything, so we'll be skipping day 5. Day 6, we'll be spraying our soybean fields, spraying our uh, sunflower fields. We'll get our fields 74 and 76 planted in corn, and then we also need to go spray our wheat fields again. Summer day one, cut, rake, and bale, bale all the hay fields. And then on summer day two, we'll be spraying all of our fields again. And we'll be hauling and stacking all of our hay. So that's kind of our plan there. Um, our plan of action. Um, whoops, wrong button. Nope. There we go. Okay. So we got the planter on, ready to rock and roll. Let's start getting this field of soybeans planted. Um, our international is back at the farm. Um, I tried removing him from the course before I started the video so I could park it before I started recording this one. But for some reason it doesn't want to open my uh, course play. Um, I think it's to do with that uh, snowblower so whenever I save and quit, which will probably be after this video or the next one, uh, I'll save the game, close it, and then uh, I'll go back, load the game back up, and I'll be able to just drive him because he won't be activated on course play anymore. Uh, I believe this hay field next to us we own. Let me actually take a look at that here. Yes, we own that hayfield. We own um, these two hayfields. We own these three here. Uh, we own one down here. We don't. I think we might own a little bit of hayfield there, but I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, and then we got this one here on the other side of the trees from our farm so we got one we got two we got three four five six seven because we own that guy there and eight so we have plenty of fields hay fields so we should have uh, plenty of uh, hay bales when we get our first cutting of hay done uh, we shouldn't have to go through a second cutting because our cattle, we're only going to be feeding cattle through the fall and winter. Fall, well, through the ending of fall, all through the winter, and then all through spring up until summer when we cut hay again. So... I mean, and I don't believe that our pigs actually need... I don't remember what our pigs need again. Pigs need... They just need straw, pig food, corn, and then potatoes slash sugar beets. So, uh, we might just buy corn. Well, I mean, we will have corn in our bins, so we can use that, I guess, to feed them. But we will be buying um, either potatoes or sugar beets as well as the pig feed um, through our silo that we have. So that's how we'll be doing that one. Uh, as I've talked about in the past, that that was what we uh, would be doing.
So I think what we're gonna do is probably run GPS on this field here. Uh, we won't use it for the headlands, but we'll use it for the rest of the field. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do three headlands around this field. Just to get that done. So that way we got a decent amount of room for turning. So we got this edge done. And we'll just swing over here and do this edge. Which I'm just going to kind of go all the way around for this one here. Uh, just because it'll make it a lot easier. Actually, oh wait, I don't know why I'm talking about using GPS. We don't have GPS on this tractor. I keep forgetting that. Um, I mean, I could, we could go like this, we could go to placeables, miscellaneous, I believe it's under, um, let me see if I can find it here, toolbox, we got that one, but that's not the one that, uh, okay, I guess this is the one that we'll use, so we'll place it right there by that tractor, and then we'll just go ahead and get rid of it right afterwards. Okay, so I think we're probably going to have to pull this up right about here. See if that works. There we go. Okay, we want to customize Global Positioning System. Yes, customize. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go to garage and then we'll just go ahead and sell that right away because we're not going to need it anymore. Now we just got to find it. There it is. Uh -huh. And we'll probably eventually place it at the shop in the farm um, to be able to use it in the shop. So that way, you know, more so for like repairing stuff uh, is kind of what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead. We need Alt C, Control S. Uh, enable guidance steering on, show lines on, auto width 2975, get rid of that, set this, and I think it should be 90, oh wait, whoops, uh, we need 90, not 0, 90, and then save it, okay, so let's delete that one, save it, 
Okay, let's go control S and we'll hit load. I think that's what I need to hit. Let's just try Alt X. There we go. Now we got GPS enabled on here. So now we can use that to plant, which will make things a lot easier. I mean, we did lose a little bit of money in putting GPS on this tractor, but for a planter tractor, we definitely kind of want GPS on this tractor. Uh, just because it'll make things a lot nicer. It'll make planting a whole lot easier, that's for sure. So we'll get this part done here and then we'll go ahead and get on our line and continue planting. And with this too we'll be able to skip every other row so it'll kind of make things a little bit easier there. But it's just going to make for planting. Uh, make things a whole lot easier. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to disengage it here around this corner. Because we're going to take this corner here and go around it to finish up a third headland on this side of the field. Alright, so now we gotta kinda get it so that things line up with GPS here. So we're gonna go down this track first. And then we're gonna skip a row and just kinda do that throughout the whole field here. This is going to make planting a whole lot nicer now. And this next one we're going to have to go down just a little bit because it's going to be that first line that we had. There we go. Now we're rocking and rolling here. This will come in handy on a lot of our other fields, especially like field uh, 74. You know, we won't need it on 76 because 76 is just a little guy, but 74 we'll definitely need it on. For 
putting corn in that field there. It's nice to finally have this back. It was definitely one of my most used things in uh, FS15, FS13. Ever since uh, GPS mod was created, it's been the most used thing by me. That is for sure. So before we move on to sunflowers, we're going to have to fill the seed and fertilizer on this planter. And then that should be the last time we have to fill it before um, spring planting is done for this, this year. Which will be nice. It definitely costs costs us a fair amount of money to fill this thing every time we gotta fill it, so So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut the timer off. Because what I'm gonna do is we're gonna finish this field we'll run this back to the farm get it filled up come back and we'll plant field 55 uh, that little guy that we have for sunflowers and then uh, we'll get that field done and then we should be able to get fi the uh, field 49 isn't it yeah field 49 and 57 we should be able to get them two done in one video so we should be good there. I mean, they're going to get done in one video, I guess, because I don't want to have uh, another video of planting. I want to be done planting already. I'm getting tired of planting. Let's go ahead and lock onto our line here. Three more passes left here, and we will be done. I do need to adjust controls. I need to set up a button to uh, on my controller to lock on GPS. These side buttons don't currently do anything, so um, yeah, I might be able to set up something to engage and disengage the uh, GPS with the controller, so I don't have to try and hit it on the keyboard and uh, also hit the controller to drop the planter. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shut that off because we are done with that. Get it raised up, get it folded up. And we'll go ahead turn the hazards on and we'll run this guy back to the farm, get him filled up. Then we'll come on back and get uh, 
Field 55 planted with some sunflowers. And while we're going down the road, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch this over to sunflowers right away. So I don't forget and start planting some freaking, uh, oh, that's right. We're actually done with this planter. We have to go get our other one to plant sunflowers, so we may not get started on planting sunflowers in this video because we got to dig out the corn planter, so I think to finish this one off, we'll take this guy back, we'll get it washed up, get it put back in the shed, and then we'll get our corn planter dug out and uh, get it hooked up, get it filled up, get it ready to rock and roll, get it up here to the field, and then uh, tomorrow we'll try and knock out as much of the sunflowers as we can. So I guess this will be the plan um, I already said for the rest of this video then tomorrow um, let's see this is Monday's video so Tuesday we will be we'll get uh, we'll start on the big field field 57 see if we can get that done and then well we'll we'll get field 57 planted get field 55 planted and then we'll get 49 planted on third on Wednesday. Uh, we'll get the last field of sunflowers planted, and then probably spray, or else no. We'll get sunflowers planted tomorrow, all of them. Wednesday we'll get our soybean sunflower ground sprayed. Thursday we'll get our corn planted. And then Friday we'll probably be cutting hay. So next weekend will be putting up a lot of hay. Like when we were at Misty's. I was out in the garage having a cigarette. Ah, oh, I'm a little close to the bridge. Damn it. There we go. Should be our last bridge to go across though. I don't believe that there's any more. I could be wrong though, but I don't believe that there is any more. No, we are free and clear of bridges until we get to the farm, so. Yeah, I forgot that this planter doesn't uh, plant sunflowers until I just tried to switch to it, so. We could use this as a hay field if we bought it, but that would buy that grass field, uh, field 72 and 71, and uh, we don't really need two more fields right now. Um, possibly next year, if we have the money for it, we might... Uh, upgrade to some more fields we'll see so first things first we're gonna wash off the tractor as well as the drill let's we'll get the tractor cleaned up to match our corn planter and we gotta kinda go around uh, this international here just because of it being dumb We can go ahead and shut our hazards off now. We'll get spun around here. Actually, we'll just go right over here like this. Pull the 
pull up right here. We'll kill it. Hop out. We're going to go ahead and shut that off because we're going to grab a screenshot of this guy before and after of washing it. Go ahead and grab this guy. Ah, oh, shoot, wrong button. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so it is B to spray. So we'll get this guy cleaned up first. Get our nice shiny magnum back. Alright, that guy's cleaned up. Let's go ahead and clean up the Great Plains now. I think we should be cleaning right there in this spot. I believe. And I hate how the washing works in this game. Everything's in stupid spots. And you just hold it in one spot. You don't actually, like, pressure wash it like you would in real life, which is kind of annoying. So, all right, we're good to go. We got this guy done, ready to rock. So let's go ahead, stick this back into the shed here. Whoa, stop, 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 there we go. So we're going to go ahead and stick this guy in here. Get, come on, turn on. There we go. Get that brought back up. Get this brought up so I can see where the heck this trigger is. There we go. So get that door closed up. And then we'll go ahead and uh, run over here. this door opened up we're gonna have to pull we'll grab the international and we'll hook it onto the corn head and pull the corn head out just to make it a little easier to get in here there we go old girl fired up all right We'll grab this guy and we'll pull it out of here. Try not to hit the Alice. And we're just going to pull this right down over here until uh, we are done planting corn. in and grab that corn planter and we're going to switch this over to sunflowers that is what we're going to be planting first Let's go ahead and open these covers. 
see, I think this end one is our fertilizer, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, maybe I can't put fertilizer in this one. I don't remember, I th think this may be the planter that doesn't fertilize while seeding. No, this one doesn't put down fertilizer, so... We're gonna have to fertilize these fields separately. So we can probably use our sprayer and just fill it with uh, liquid fertilizer instead. So we're going to have to move that trailer in order to do that because we don't have a... Oh, wait. Yes, we do. We do have a liquid fertilizer tank. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so then we'll just probably run it out of herbicide and then we'll fill it up with some liquid fertilizer instead and just spray that over... Uh, our sunflower ground. Alright, so we're going to get this brought over here to the shed. We're going to get it gone through, make sure everything's looking good. And then uh, tomorrow we'll get started on some planting. So let's get this guy unfolded. And backed up to the shed. And there we go. So we got this guy ready to rock and roll. Alright, well that's going to do it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure you turn on the post notifications. If you have not already, it will send you a notification every time I upload a video. Check out down below in the description for the PC specs, upload schedule, links to all of my social medias as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and as always, we will see you guys tomorrow.